Hey guys, it's Brandon Wilmarth with Tech in the Classroom, and today we're going to be talking about Infinite Campus and how to pull specific uh, data. Uh, we have Sylvia Berry, our resident IC expert, here to help us out. So thanks for being here, Sylvia. Well, thank you for having me. And the very first thing you're going to do is make sure that once you are logged into Infinite Campus, that you go to Campus Tools. If your gradebook opens up, you'll have to go to the App Switcher and move over to Campus Tools. Then you go to the index list on the far left side and everyone has a little bit different list down there but you are going to find ad hoc reporting and you're going to click on data viewer. And that's where we're going to be working in today. We're going to do a new report for data viewer. You can either do a report or you can do a folder that you can organize your reports into. But for today, we're just going to do a report. Now, you have your choice of either doing student reports, census staff, which would be anyone that works for the district, and then course and section information. We're going to go ahead and work in the course and section information today because we are going to generate a report that shows the different courses taught at Moore High School and the teacher's names with that. So we're going to title this report Moore High School Course and Teacher. And then if you look in the search field at the middle of the column, you can kind of narrow down where your information is hiding in the data tables. And so the very first thing that we want to add is we want to add the teacher's names. So we're going to go ahead and type in teacher here and then you're going to hit search. And you'll see how your availability of places to look has shortened down somewhat. So it gets to be a bit of a scavenger hunt. You're going to kind of scroll down through there and click on all those plus signs to show the hidden fields. For our purposes, we're going to actually go ahead, instead of doing last name and then having a separate column for first name, we're going to jump down to section information. And we have the teacher display name and you have to drag and drop over into the chart, into your report, and you can put it at the end, you can put it at the beginning, you can put it at the middle. If you click on the title of the column, you have a drop-down menu where you can now sort ascending, descending, you can group. If you've decided this is not the information you want, you can even delete the column out. If you want to rename it, which we will when we get to the school, and I'll tell you how to do that. So type in school in our search menu, and enter, hitting enter doesn't do any good. You actually have to click on the search button. And then we go down to school. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom one, to school, and then we're going to go to school name. Now that can be a bit confusing because all it says, just go ahead and drop it. Then you can move it if you need to. We're going to rename that column to school name instead of school. So just go ahead and double click in the column heading on the word name. And now you can put school in front of it. You can title it something else. You can campus, site, whatever you'd like. And if you'll notice that the examples that it shows on the screen, it starts with Apple Creek because it is alphabetized. Well, we only want more high school. And right now it is reflecting like 16,000 records and everything. So we definitely do need to narrow this down. So if we go to add new filter up at the top, we're going to actually filter the school. And we want it to equal more high. One thing you do need to remember is that the school designation has to be how it is in Infinite Campus. So if it said more high school or more HS, that's what you would have had to type in. If you go to the operator, you'll notice that you've got other search parameters that you can use as well. Now once you've kind of looked at what you've got, you've got your filters done, then you're gonna to need to save it. So if you save, and then you go back to reports, which is the icon right next to it, you select your report, and then you have another box that pops up asking if you want to attach an ad hoc filter to it or if you want to output it as a PDF, a CSV, or an HTML file. We're going to go ahead and output ours as a CSV and we're going to go ahead and generate it. 
uh, download button will pop up and you can open it and it will open in Excel. And at this point, you can manipulate, you can go even further than you were when you were in the designer, and you can save it as an Excel spreadsheet. Well, thank you very much, Sylvia. And as always, if you have any questions about this, email her at sylviaberry at moreschools.com or Brandon Wilmarth at moreschools.com. And good luck with all this data.